Badger leads the yard. What a swing from Corin Badger, the catcher. Deep to right center field. This one is enough. And it's a wall of Badger is definitely a... Uh, a legend here at, the, at Stony Brook. Badger wins it for Stony Brook. So I grew up in upstate Pleasant Valley, New York, um, right near Poughkeepsie. Um, I have two older brothers, uh, Brian and Brandon. Um, they're four and five years older than me. Um, and then both my parents. So I was at sports events, whatever my brothers were playing when I was in a stroller. So um, basically I was born into it. Whatever they were doing, I wanted to do too. So um, it all started, I would play t-ball, but then whenever my brothers were playing football, I was on the side, I was a little cheerleader, you know. Um, so whatever they were at, I was there too. And I just wanted to play with them whenever we were home too. So um, that got me into it, and then my, both my brothers played baseball growing up, so I think that's what really got me into softball, so, yeah. From, like, one day, I just, like, went up to my dad, I was like, I want to play softball. Like, I don't even think I knew what it was, but I just kind of, like, put it with baseball, so I was like, I might as well give it a try. I've been playing with my brothers, so I started playing when I was, like, eight years old. I did rec ball, and then... Um, I think when I turned nine years old, I only played rec for like a year, and then once I turned nine, I got into travel ball. 100%. I tried other sports, tried field hockey, volleyball, nothing was the same as softball. So. so I got here in 2019 as a freshman. I was recruited, um, oh my God, my sophomore year of high school. Looking back, obviously like coming in here, I wanted to do well. Um, I didn't really have like any goals set though. Um, I just kind of, Wanting to come in, get some playing time, and just have a good college experience, but obviously it didn't go that way at first. Yeah, so freshman year, um, I came in, you know, like travel ball, like high school ball, like you're always the best player. So coming in here, I came in like I was like, I had the mindset that I was the best player and that I was going to do just fine um, with the adjustments. Um, but that did not go well. I feel like I didn't have that like buy-in mindset, like that I had to do all these little things to get to where I am now. Um, and then sophomore year, I got a little bit better. Like I had a better mindset. I was working even harder than I was the year before. I was still in that second string position. And so I got a little bit of playing time. I got like 20 something at bats. And then um, junior year coming in, I was gonna be the first string. Um, so I think that kind of gave me that edge that I was looking for, the fire. And having that in the back of my mind, it definitely got me to work even harder than the past two years. Um, and then working on myself mentally, because I've always been um, my worst enemy. So just going back to like, when I was thinking about when I was younger, like finding the fun in the game again, I wasn't having fun at all. Like looking back at those first two years, I didn't have fun. Like I wasn't myself. Oh, like going into junior year, like I knew I was going to be the starter. So I was like, I have nothing to lose, like, like literally nothing to lose. So why not just ball out and like have the time of my life? Like I, it was so much fun. Um, like, I feel like freshman year would never believe like where I'm at now. Like, um, I came in the 2023 class. So I graduated high school in 2019. Um, I came here with, it was me and then three others, uh, Corinne, Shauna, and here. Emma. We kind of hit it off right away. We kind of knew we were going to be like really good friends. Um, and honestly, ever since freshman year, you know, we've been best friends. We've clicked really well. We have very similar personalities. Um, we want the same things. Um, we're driven the same way. So, so. Um, you know, even to this day, Corinne is still one of my best friends. Um, and. I am so thankful for her. She's a great person. Um, I know you guys see it all the time on the field, but um, I really wish people could see, you know, Corinne is a great softball player, but she's a, 10 times of a better person. And if anyone, you know, people ask like, you know, how hard does Corinne really work? And, you know, you hear those things where it's like, your best player isn't always your hardest worker because, you know, sometimes it might come naturally, but, Anyone on this team knows Corinne is one of our hardest workers on the team, and that's kind of that's kind of what has set her apart. Um, 
these last two years especially coming you know she really started playing her junior year and has really made a name for herself and that's just because she could go have a day that she's four for four at the plate and she's still going to be back in the cage you know the next morning hitting um, I was finally playing like pressure free like the first two years I barely played so I feel like there was no expectation set upon me and so I was kind of just playing softball like going back to my younger days and just having fun. Um, I would um, just say find something that you're passionate about um, and then once you find what that is don't let go of it. Um, you're never gonna work too much for something. Um, just always put in the work, just always be very grateful for the opportunity that you have and don't let up on any opportunity because um, it just feels like just yesterday I was starting to play softball and now I'm in my last season so um, just be very grateful, attitude of gratitude, you know, um, and just be very passionate, love whatever you're doing, um, and just always have fun. Something I could tell my eight-year-old self, yeah. Um, I would just say, yeah, don't be so hard on myself. Um, give myself grace. I feel like I got caught up in letting my whole identity being Corinne Badger, the softball player. Um, I'm Corinne Badger who plays softball. Like, I kind of didn't realize that even like freshman sophomore year I didn't even realize that I was placing my self-worth on how I was hitting a softball throwing a softball catching a softball like that just sounds ridiculous when you say it out loud um so definitely give myself grace see the value in who I am as a person and not just myself as a softball player